Hey guys, uh, welcome to one more episode of Let's Code EC's uh, iOS app tutorial. We will be discussing about uh, creating an iOS application using Swift and with an architecture which is different from the regular approach you use with the MVC. Instead, uh, what I'm trying to do this time is to create an application using a different architecture called MVVM, which is model view view model. So whatever we are trying to solve here is, uh, as you might, might be aware that uh, when we are actually creating applications using MVC, you are creating multiple different layers using the same view controllers and then having those dependencies passed in between each, each and every other layer. And uh, this creates uh, a coupling problem altogether in your application which becomes uh, highly difficult to maintain in the future and also not testable, which is, which is what these kind of architectures, alternate ones like MVVM or even Viper tries to solve. So let's talk about MVVM a little bit more and let's see how it can actually try to mitigate some of these problems in terms of testability and maintainability. So MVVM, as it's called as model view view model is creating an intermediate layer called view model which is nothing but a layer which will have uh, whatever you have in your model layer as well as some properties which is required to be bound with the view let's say a visibility or an enable or disable view or even some other kind of validations which is required to be done in, in the view controller can be moved to the view model layer so this way what happens is your view model layer gets testable more you don't need to worry about what is there in the view so if you have a view model created it can become a testable layer altogether so with this background in place let's get started let's start by creating a new project let it be a single view application And let's call it uh, MVVM tutorial. Let's change the identifier as well. And let, let that remain as an iPhone application. So we have done it. Now let's rename the view controller to MVVM tutorial view controller and uh, the let's create let's rename the corresponding file class name as well and then ch make this changes reflected in the layout in the storyboard and that's done next step is let's create a slider controller include it in the layout and then have its initial value minimum as 0 and maximum as 10 and let the current value be 5 so once that's done Let's add one more control, a label for showing the or reflecting the changes which will happen to the slider. Now that being done, let's add some constraints, the layout constraints. For the label and also for the slider. Okay, we are pretty good now. So let's associate this outlets 
to the view controller so the label needs to have its outlet created so that's our view controller let's add the IB outlet of the label let's call it label slider value it's connected now let's add the action outlet from the slider and uh, let's call it on value changed so we are pretty much good with the outlets now now let's do the basic stuff which will be done in an MVC application even before we go to the MVVM structure let's create and do it in the MV MVC where we will be directly setting the value of the slider on value changed so as we know that it's going to be a slider we can force it to cast to that one and so capture the value the value on value changed. now this is directly set. shown in the label so this is the basic MVC stuff we did right now. Keep it as a string type. Let's start with the MVVM mode of working by creating a file for MVVM called MVVM tutorial view model. So for representing each view and its binding, we will have a view model created. In this case, as we just have one view. Let's create a MVVM tutorial view model. And uh, we also need to have protocols defined, which the view model will implement as its contract. So let's call it uh, MVVM tutorial view presentable uh, presentable because this will represent whatever we want to show or visualize on the view side so let's say if you have a text property which needs to be available in this case the label value which we need to show then will have a corresponding property created on the view model side this one we will call as a slider value let's keep its type as string itself and that's the property or the variable which is being created on the protocol side and let's implement the same in our view model so we have the slider value which will represent the label value created on the view model side now let's also create something to have the value change captured through a protocol which will act as the delegate from the view controller towards the view model so let's call it a tutorial view delegate and let's have a function created for it called uh, on slider value changed So it will have a parameter called value which is of type string. So this is the same value we will capture from the view controller and pass to the view model. So we also need to implement it in the view model. So the corresponding function needs to be implemented here. and let's log it using a print so that we know that the value is received here or not so 
so we are done with the creation of the view con view model required for binding and let's have that instance created uh, on the view controller so every view controller will have a view model associated with it let's call it view model and have the type specified so that's a view model let's we should have an instance of it and on value changed what we will do is instead of the current setting of the value from the slider we will just propagate or delegate it to the view model so whatever we value we had set for the text we'll just pass it to the view model so that's being done let's see whether this works also let's see the terminal to see the logs let's run the application now it launches let's see on value changed you can see that uh, the logs are getting printed whenever there is a value change happening so we are receiving the value in the view model now so next step is to propagate it back to the view controller so even before that let's do a walkthrough of what we have done until now so we have created a view model which will represent the value which needs to be propagated called a slider value which will represent directly the label which you have created also we have created a delegate which will delegate the value which is being changed or the slider value change will be handled by this delegate which you have created the function on slider value changed and on the view controller side we right now need to have a protocol created which will represent this view controller we will call it as mvvm tutorial view because that will be directly representing uh, the view that we have created and any change happening from the view model will be delegated back to the view controller through this view so let's have a function created called uh, configure slider view so this function will configure the slider value whenever there is a change happening on the view model side so what we will do is implement this as an extension we can implement this uh, view itself in the view controller we'll create the extension and then implement it and have the configure function implemented here so once that's done whatever we were doing initially to set the value we will pick up that slider text and then instead of directly setting the ui slider value we will set the value received from the view model so that being done let's also log it so that we know that we are receiving it back from the view controller to the view to the view or view model to the view controller which in this case will be received in the view side so let's run it and see so on value change we just see that the value is not received yet because we are not yet uh, connected the flow on the view model side so let's do that now so we need to have a weak reference of the view which we have created now because the view controller is being the view controller is the owner of the view model so whenever there is a back reference from the view model to the view controller we need to have it as a lazy reference so this means the view model knows about the view controller or the view 
So let's call it as uh, delegate and have the type as the one view which we had created and we do the MVVM tutorial view. And then have it associated the association happening on you did load so you know that the view controller is having a reference or the view model is having a reference of view controller or the view which we had created which will be a lazy reference so as we see some error That's because uh, the protocol has to be of class reference. So it should be class. Otherwise, you will get that error. So let's call the configure function and then pass the value. So this way, we are propagating it back to the view controller. So that is being set now. So we have the delegate set, everything is on set looks like. So the view controller is implementing it and the value is being received here. So all set. Now let's run the application and see whether things work now. So both the prints logs are getting printed as well as the value changes happening. So with this, we are done with the MVVM side using protocols. So that concludes this episode. So in a future, in future uh, tutorial, we will see how to avoid some of these protocols and how Rx Swift implemented, which will let you do reactive functional programming. Until then, goodbye. Hey guys, uh, welcome to one more episode of Let's Code EC's uh, iOS app tutorial. We will be discussing about uh, creating an iOS application using Swift and with an architecture which is different from the regular approach you use with the MVC. Instead, uh, what I'm trying to do this time is to create an application using a different architecture called MVVM which is model view view model so whatever we are trying to solve here is uh, as you might might be aware that uh, when we are actually creating applications using MVC you are creating multiple different layers using the same view controllers and then having those dependencies passed in between each each and every other layer and uh, this creates uh, a coupling problem altogether in your application which becomes uh, highly difficult to maintain in the future and also not testable which is, which is what these kind of architectures alternate ones like MVVM or even Viper tries to solve so let's talk about MVVM a little bit more and let's see how it can actually try to mitigate some of these problems in terms of testability and maintainability so mvvm as it's called as model view view model is creating an intermediate layer called view model which is nothing but a layer which will have uh, whatever you have in your model layer as well as some properties which is required to be bound with the view let's say a visibility or an enable or disable view or even some other kind of validations which is required to be done in, in the view controller can be moved to the view model layer so this way what happens is your view model layer gets testable more you don't need to worry about what is there in the view so if you have a view model created it can become a testable layer altogether so with this background in place let's get started